N equals 10. That's the 10 pound bag of chocolate. Second equation is 4C plus 7N equals 6.1 times 10, which is 61. Like that. Okay. Uh, let me Just make do sure, that. Make sure, make sure you do that. Those two boxes there. All right. Now to answer the next questions. So in important situations like these, I never do them by hand. I always use some technology. I'm going to use a matrix calculator that I like. On my yeah, the dark here. One. That's a great one. I would encourage you yeah. to work these out as well. You have to make okay. sure that your are your answers are consistent. Okay. And so I get I get seven for I'm sorry, three for C and seven for All right, awesome. Uh, one second. I think I, I don't know what I did wrong. Hold on one second. Let me just send you what I typed in. And I I think I, I typed it in wrong. One second. Okay, I just sent the thing in text. Well, I don't know how to enter stuff, so that's that's the limitation here. So it's uh the second equation is C not X before C plus seven N. That looks oh, like issue. wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right, awesome. Okay, yes, yeah, sweet, thank you. All right, let me see another one. Uh Sorry, wait, did, was I muted? Well, I heard you. We're gonna send you're okay. gonna send over another one. Okay, awesome. Um let me do this one one second. Right, I already did the first half of this one. I just need help with the second half. Yeah, let me upload it. Okay, so the uh, the solution uh, to this, there, there's infinite solutions. Uh, order triplet, I think, so we don't do that. All right. Yep, give me a moment to uh, get that uploaded, and I'll snip it in, and we'll, we'll discuss. Okay. Um, the, the, the issue here is that it says how to enter the answer as in terms of the free variables and depending on the system they could you be using x or z as the free variable do you remember which one they used um it, it probably is in terms of z so it's three minus five z comma five yeah. plus d comma z Sorry, you said five plus what? Are you seeing my screen? Oh, yeah, I see it now. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I know there's a little delay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Let me put it in parentheses. Awesome. And then... Okay, let me send the next one. This one's like the same thing, it's just different numbers. Uh, 
Okay, so this okay. one is inconsistent. That middle, you just type inconsistent, I guess, is the way they want you okay. to do it. Awesome to do that. Cool. Um, all right, let me do this. Let me send this one real quick. Got it. Uploading. Okay, so here we go. It's the briefest of explanations here. They're telling you that A1 is 2, so that goes in your first box. Okay. A A2 is 3 times A1 minus 18. So you take that previous result, multiply it by 3, and subtract 18. That's minus 12. A3 is 3 times A2 minus 18. So you're going to multiply 3 times negative 12. Negative 36 minus 18 is minus 54. Recommend you check these as well. A4 is 3 times A3 minus 18. 3 times negative 54 minus 18. Negative 162 minus 18 is minus 180. A5 is 3 times A4 minus 18. 3 times negative 180. Minus 18. The so minus 540 minus 18 minus 558. All right, awesome. Let me just put that in real quick. And I'm I'm happy to check them as well. Just don't do that on the computer. Oh no, you're good. Thanks. Um, let me see. One second. Okay, well, let me send this one. Got it. This is syntax error. Um, yeah, those look correct. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, there are infinitely many solutions. All right. Um, let me just a moment to upload this. I'm going to use a matrix. That would be the easiest way. So uh, the matrix I'm I'm doing here is seven, negative two, negative three, negative 21, six, and nine. I can already tell that it's going to be a problem. Um, looks like it's either going to be inconsistent or infinite solutions. Okay. But let uh, me uh, confirm that here with the calculator. Didn't come out nice. Um, let me see. I want you to write seven, negative two, negative three, negative 21, six, and nine. Yeah, so the um, the answer here is that um, they want you to enter it as a as a line. So you just have to solve one of these equations for, for y. I'll solve the second equation for y. So we have adding 21x to both sides, 
6y equals 21x plus 9 divided by 6. What did I find out? That's weird. Divide by 6, divide by 6. Uh, y equals 7 over 3x plus 3. And that's what it appears that they're looking for in that box. Okay, um, let me do that real quick. Okay. One second. Um, I think, wait, what did I do? I, I did some, wait, I, did I, I think I messed it up. Hold on, let me show you what I did. Um, Should well, I just so so what you entered is correct. Um, I don't know what they want. Oh no, it's seven over two, not seven over three. That's the issue. Oh, okay, awesome. Thank you. That, that will that will impact it. Oh, it's still being. Hold on, let me show you what it said. We can just skip this one. Um, because I don't need to get a hunt. The issue is how to enter the enter it uh, which i don't know oh and it's three i'm sorry it's three over two that's the other i'm so sorry i'm uh oh it's okay no worries slightly sick that's why it's not so seven over two x plus three over two that will do it hopefully you get one more submission um no i mean i'm i can't it lets me retry it with another question uh but i don't know if i have enough time so maybe okay. we can just back to that one later if okay. i have enough um let me see it's a quick it's quick to answer it if you want to redo it oh okay then yes the, thank the you. mistake was just on me on my end i'll just hand draw it if you want to send it over well let me just send the new one well and that's assuming it's the same type of problem uh which it should be it, unless it isn't it actually is uh inconsistent it is okay um Nope, nope. It's it not. is sorry. Okay. Nope, no, sorry. You're... Let me let me back up here. I'm look trying to do this too fast. All right. Uh, five negative four seven. Yeah. So this one has the solution of uh, x equals three and y equals two. Okay. Um, one second. All right. Yeah, that worked. Thank you. Um, let me see. All right, I'll just send this one. All right, uh, this one has two parts. I'm sending it right now. Yep. Let's snip it in. moment.
back where I can snip it in here. So the uh, typically the value of M at the top is the number of terms. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. This looks like M is six. And then we have to come up with a formula for this. So it's sometimes good to write the numbers above there. And look for a pattern. So it looks like it's six times K on the top and then uh, K plus two on the bottom. Okay. Are you able to try those or do you have to go all the way through? Uh, let me see one second. Looks like you got to do the other ones. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's okay. okay. So they're doing, they're, they're basically saying like, do the same thing now, but you have to start at three. Three. Okay. Instead of instead of um, the one, so um, let me grab the sequence again. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So n is eight, the last one, and then okay. on the bottom, it is just uh, it is just i. Wait, did I use? Okay, that's k there. Okay. It's just I. It goes up three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, this is I times. Um, sure. Okay. We're trying to figure out the pattern for the top number from this. So it's. Um, I'm trying to look through this. So base we're mapping three to six, four to 12. Five to eighteen. Oh, well, these go up by six. Okay, that's good. So it's uh six i. We're offsetting by by three. Um, minus twelve. So when i is two, no, when i is four. You have 12 when i is three five yeah that looks like that works okay awesome let me do that yep uh it worked thank you uh what was the what was the a k for the first one again here we go all right awesome thanks okay cool all right let me see which one let me send another one. Sorry that the picture quality is all weird. I can't like do anything about the weird screen effect thing. That's okay. Thanks. It's good. It's good enough. All right, just uploading it now. Let's snip it in. Okay. All right, from a fire tower 20, 20 feet above the ground, uh, there's the, the distance, angle of depression, 2.2 degrees. That means this is 2.2 degrees, 220 above the ground level. We want to find how far the fire is from the base of the tower. So on X, the tangent of 2.2 .2 equals 220 divided by X. So x equals 220 divided by the tangent of 2.2. So we go to the calculator, rounding to one decimal place. Five thousand seven hundred twenty-six point.
All right, cool. One second. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Um, let me see. Let me see which one I should do next. Hold on. Um, how long does it take to find the inverse of a matrix? Is it like really easy? All right. Do you have to show the steps or just the answer? Um, just the answer. Let me. See. I'll just send it. Hold on one second. What well, takes less than a minute then? Okay. Yeah. Let me just send this then real quick. So most matrix calculators, including that that's most one, have a an inverse. Oh, do they? I didn't realize. Oops. Yeah. So I'm just gonna use my own calculator, but I will I will do this with you. Give you the okay. answer. All right, so here is what I get for the inverse. Okay, let me just do that real quick. Um, All right, yeah, I got it, thanks. Uh, let me see this one real quick, one second. Um, actually, I think I'm good now. Thanks. Is that everything? Yep. You sure? We have uh -huh. some time remaining if you need it. What? We have some more time remaining if you need it. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. I'm good. Thank you.